Good afternoon everyone. My name is Praveen Pawar and we are looking towards the back propagation algorithm in our session. Back propagation algorithm is the specifically standard method of the training artificial neural network. Now in the back propagation algorithm is the method of represent rapidly specifically uh, adjustable or the weighted of the connection in the, the network so as to minimize the difference between the actual output and the value of the desired output. So back propagation is specifically a process to generate the difference between the, the what output we required and what is the difference between the actual output that has been find with the help of the back propagation algorithm. This method or the algorithm looks for the minimum value of the error function in weight space using either delta rule or the gradient descent algorithms. So again in the back propagation algorithm we can what is the specifically uh, done by the back propagation is to reduce the amount of the errors from whatever the outputs it is going to be generating by any kind of algorithms. So this back propagation algorithm specifically used to reduce the error of the output functions. Steps in the back propagation algorithms input again the x is arrives to the percept, uh, percept or the pre connection of the path of the input. Now the input are the model using the randomly assigned weights. So first of all we need to provide the input that is nothing but the x to send one input towards the second point of that particular collection we require the weighted of that particular or the weightage of that particular inputs then we are going to be calculating the output of each neuron from the input layer then we are providing towards the hidden layer that is nothing but the processing layer which we doesn't understand how it is going to be processing that's why it is known as the hidden layer and finally it is going to be generating the output to calculate the error in the outputs is having the logically or the algorithmly formulation that is known as the error b is equals to actual output minus the desired output. So whatever the error if we are having 10 is the final output we required and it is the specifically uh, desired output we required and the actual output is it then obviously the 2 is nothing but the error between that particular value. So again that is also the part of the back propagation algorithm. Travel back from the output layer to the hidden layer to adjust the weight such as the error is decreased. So again if I wanted to reduce the error two point error which we have discussed right now. So if I wanted to reduce that particular error again I need to get back and again I need to do the changes into the weightage of that particular transmission of the input values. This is the structure of the back propagation where having the three uh, layers one is nothing but the input layer the middle is nothing but the hidden layer and third one is nothing but the output layer. So input layer how much amount of the inputs we required we can send it the input towards the hidden layer. So after providing towards its, the input towards the hidden layer it is going to be generating some kind of a output and then it is sending it towards the output layer to verify it is the desired output or not. If it is not the desired output again so it is going to be providing it backwards towards that processing unit. So unless and until we get the desired output it is going to be processing towards the back point and that's why it is known as the back propagation algorithm or the back propagation output layer. Now what are the advantages of the back propagation? Back propagation is the fast and the simplest and the easiest way to provide the output which are closest towards the desired output. It is the flexible method as it does not require prior knowledge about the networks and the final it is mainly used to deep neural networks working on the error prone protect project such as image or the speech recognition. So these are the parts if you require the image recognition or the speech recognition you can use the back propagation algorithm to generate the precise or the closest uh, towards the desired output. Thank you.